Hi everybody, this is Book S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Studios' The First Ten Years Captain America and Crossbones 2-Pack. So before we take a look at Crossbones, let's take a look at Captain America. So first up, he comes with his shield, of course. And I like the deco better on this one than the previous version. This is the uh, Giant Man Wave uh, Civil War Captain America. And this is the Marvel Studios' The First Ten Years figure. I think this one just looks a lot more metallic, like it has that shimmer to it. And this one's shiny, but it's uh, it, it's not, it's not metallic like this. The the colors aren't metallic; it's just glossy. So yeah, I definitely like this one better. It looks more realistic. So now you just slide your shield on like that. I always bend his hand that way. Uh, the shield doesn't slip out of his hand, or slip off his wrist, while I'm posing it around him. Well, just a second here. That piece right there always gets caught, right there on the cuff. That always gets caught when I'm trying to do this. There. So I usually keep it like that, that way it stays. So, for his next accessory, he comes with his alternate unmasked head. And this is a little tough to get off. That's why I popped it off like that, because I was afraid it was going to go flying across the room. Um, kind of tough to get on, too. You won't hear a snap. It just kind of goes on there. But it is really tough. But there is his alternate unmasked head. And that head just looks amazing. It looks like Chris Evans, like Hasbro, this was their last attempt at a Chris Evans head. This, this head was absolutely horrible. I, uh, I think this was also, I think this was packed in with the, the Winter Soldier Captain America as well. But this doesn't even look like him. This, this head was horrible, but, you know, I'm just being honest, it's horrible. But the likeness on this one is really awesome. Uh, that's thanks to that face printing tech. I am noticing that one of the eyebrows is higher than the other. His right eyebrow's up a little bit. But that really doesn't bother me because the sculpt and likeness is just really great. And I like the paint shading in his hair too. But the head sculpt looks really nice. Like I said, definitely better than that other head sculpt. So now let's pop this back on. And this head sculpt is really good as well. Um, I thought this was the same. Uh, this is the same figure. The body is the same. The shield is the same. But the head is actually different. So uh, let me get them side by side here. So this one is all one piece. But if you lift him up there, this is actually two pieces. This is the head and his helmet. And this is just all one piece. Plus, if you look on this one, the skin tone doesn't match up good. So yeah, uh, the head sculpt is brand new. And it looks much better. I think this one just looks a lot better anyway, because this one is glossy. This one is uh, glossy where it shouldn't be. Like in the arms, it's super glossy. And the paint on this one is matted. And I just, I just think it looks a lot better. Now on the gray right here, on his... Uh, torso here, or on his, uh, stomach, uh, the blue is showing through. That's really my only gripe with this figure, is that the blue is showing through. Um, the collars are just darker. Well, that's probably because they're matted, because these are really shiny. And this is a matte kind of maroon. It's more of a maroon color, actually, or just a really dark red. Um, my only... Complaint is uh, on the torso right here, the where it's gray, and the hair right here. That looks, mm, that that looks pretty bad. Like it, it doesn't even go down to where it should be. But as long as you aren't focusing on the back of the figure, it looks fine. So that's about all to go over with Cap. So now let's go over his articulation. He has a ball jointed head that can look back that far. He can't quite look up all the way because the back of his head gets in the way there. Um, he can look down all the way. 
He can move his head side to side. He has ball jointed shoulders that can move out all the way. He has swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbow, swivel thrust can move side to side and up and down. He has an ab crunch that can move back just a little bit and down all the way. He has swivel at the waist. He has ball jointed hips that can move out that far. He can kick forward all the way, kick back just a little bit. He has swivel at the thigh, double jointed knee, swivel at the boot, swivel at the ankle, and an ankle rocker. So the articulation is the same as the previous figure. Uh, I didn't review him, but, uh, you know, if, if you have this figure, it's pretty much the same. But the head sculpts are a lot better. Like, even this head sculpt uses that face printing tech. I think it looks like Chris Evans. Like, you can tell that that's him under there. So, Hasbro did a really good job on this. Uh, much needed update. Well, it, it's one I didn't know I needed. I didn't think I needed another Captain America yet. Here we are. <laughs> Hopefully, Infinity War Captain America can get... Infinity War Captain America can get fixed next. Ugh, that, that was a tongue twister. Um, the likeness on that one is horrible. So, hopefully they'll remake him. So now let's take a look at Crossbones. So, uh, I suppose you could say that his, uh, gauntlets here are, uh, accessories. But, I couldn't remove them. I just about tore them off his hands trying. Like, literally tore them because they're, they're very soft rubber. So, I guess you could count those as accessories. But I'm not going to remove them. Just because of the fact that it is very soft rubber that uh, they're made out of. So if you try to remove them and can't, you'll probably end up ripping it. And that's what I wanted to avoid doing. So for a crossbones only accessory, he comes with an alternate unmasked head sculpt. And uh, let me get it on him. There. And this looks like Frank Grillo. They, Hasbro did a really good job with that. Um... I feel like the scarring is a little heavy around the eyes. The one eye is kind of drooping off to the left a little bit. Um, I don't know, I feel like they focused all of the scarring right here around his left eye. Because he does have scars throughout. Like you can see the scars there from where he got uh, burned up in uh, the Winter Soldier. And it does look nice. But I feel like they focused on the eyes just a little bit too much. I feel like they should have uh, put more detail into the other scars than they did right here. Like I said, I, I think they just focused on that a little bit too much. But the hair is sculpted nicely and it looks just like it did in Civil War. They really nailed the hair too. Because he kind of has it uh, trimmed on the sides and it's longer on the top. And they really got that. And the 5 o'clock shadow is printed on. Isn't it? Yeah, it's printed on. It almost looks painted on, but if you look really close, it's uh, it gets a little pixely. So yeah, I do like that head sculpt, but like I said, I feel like they just focus the scarring right there way too much. Now let's pop that head off. It pops on and off a lot easier than Captain America's. I'm afraid I'm going to break Captain America's neck peg. And here is the helmeted head sculpt. And I think it looks really good, but uh, the eyes. I think the eyes are the same on it. Like, the scarring is just way too much in that area. They should have focused it on his whole face instead of just right there on his eyes. Now, with this head sculpt, you really can't see the rest of his face, but I feel like still it's, it's too uh, centered right there. But this head sculpt looks really nice. They uh, they use the face printing tech on the uh, the skull on his helmet there, and also for the crossbones right here on his chest or on his uh, jacket here or vest. I think it's considered a vest, bulletproof vest. Um, but it looks really nice. He has ammo clips right there, and he has a pistol, but it can't be removed. That's that sucks. Because if you look, it's all one piece. Like, there's there's nothing under there. It's just all one piece. So, that sucks. I mean, uh, you really can't get his hands off to have him hold it. But it would have been cool. It would have been cool to have it removable. Because, honestly, I probably would have <laughs> used it with another figure. Right here he has shotgun shells. 
Um, does he ever use that in the movie? I know in Marvel Contest of Champions, that's one of his weapons. One of his special moves is he uh, takes a shotgun out and shoots at the enemy. But I can't remember if he used that in the movie or not. I need to rewatch uh, Civil War. I'd have to say, it's probably one of the MCU movies I own that I've watched the least of. I don't know. I need to go back and watch it again. Because I can't remember if he uses uh, a shotgun or not. And here he has camo pants. But it does change shade. Like it's green and then brown right here. And the camo print came out really nice, but I feel like it should be the, sh the same shade. And then there are his shins. Now for his feet, I feel like his feet are just a little too short and stubby. Because when you move it up, it'll only move that far because his feet are so short. It'll only move down that far. I don't know, I just feel like he's kind of a bulky figure with the armor and stuff on. And his feet are just, good. like I said, short and stubby. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Sometimes I feel like it's just me. Like, when I complain about something, no one else complains about the same thing. I don't know, maybe that's just in my head. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's just me. But, now let's go over his articulation. He has a ball-jointed head that can't look back that far. He can look up just a little bit, but the helmet and the collar right here does restrict that. But he can look down all the way, even with his helmet on. He can look down all the way, and he can move his head side to side. He has ball-jointed shoulders that can... <clears throat> okay, so his right shoulder sticks just a little bit. So definitely be careful with that. Um, he has swiveled the bicep, double-jointed elbow, swiveled the swivel at the wrist and move side to side. And he can move up and down, but like I said, you don't want to... Or I don't want to move that and try... Uh, I don't want to try and move that. Because I don't want to rip his gauntlets right here. So you can't do that. Um, he has a ball jointed diaphragm that can move back that far. And it really can't move... Or they can move back that far, but can't really move down. It can move side to side. He has ball jointed hips that can do a complete split. He can kick forward all the way. And he can't kick back all the way. He has swiveled the thigh. Double jointed knee. Swiveled the ankle that can move down and up and he has an ankle rocker so overall i honestly think crossbones is the star of this set because he he's made up of all new pieces like there's the there um the hands may be reused but as far as i can tell that's the only thing that's uh probably been reused because you know the hands are pretty much the same on a lot of the figures but i could be wrong maybe they're new too but yeah, I definitely love this figure. Now let's do some size comparisons. So for Captain America, I wanted to do some size comparisons to... Oh, wait. That's the wrong Captain America. This Captain America. <laughs> I swear I'm not with it today. So here is this pack's Captain America. Next to the... Hold on, let me get into stand here. Next to the Giant Man Wave Captain America. And, oh, okay, I'll just hold them side by side there. And I do like this one. I feel like even though it's the same figure, that it's just a little bit bulkier. Definitely. looks better. And then here he is next to Crossbones. And finally, here both of them are. Next to the Civil War Black Panther figure. I remember that he was the hardest figure to find out that weight for me. I think for a lot of people he was the hardest figure to find. And now he's being released in the Black Panther wave. The uh, M'Baku wave. Which is coming out in January I think. So for those of you that missed this figure he's coming out again. So overall I would highly recommend this box set. Because this Captain America is way better than the uh, previous one. Oh yeah, there was also this one too. That This was the uh, battle damage Captain America from the Civil War 3 pack. Um, it's definitely better than those two right there. This version is better just because of the face printing tech. Plus, the, the paint's a lot better too. And Crossbones is just a really awesome figure. And he's made up of all new pieces, so that's great too.
So overall, I would highly recommend this set. So if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video, and hit the notification bell. That way, whenever I post a new video, you can be notified. <laughs> so that's my review. Thanks for watching.